Supply chain ripple effect caused by the key bridge collapse in Baltimore is now starting to show here in Rhode Island. Yeah, the port of Davisville busier than usual as diverted car shipments make their way into Quonset. That's where we find Jake Holter with the details. Jake. Well, Kim and Kayla, the port director telling us that nearly 3,000 cars are being offloaded here today and that nearly a third of those cars are ones that were originally supposed to go to Baltimore and have now been diverted. Now, those cars and trucks are all makes and models that the port is already familiar with. For example, these GMC trucks we captured being driven off a ship here this afternoon are part of a shipment that was originally going to Baltimore. The managing director of the Quonset Development Corporation says over the next year, he, anticipates, he estimates the port Port of Davisville to import about 20 to 25 percent more cars than usual. That comes out to an additional four to five thousand cars a month, or 50 to 60 thousand a year. With that increase in volume, he anticipates that more people will need to be hired to keep pace. So the longshoremen that unload the vessels will have to put in more hours and potentially hire more folks to make it happen, as well as our auto processing company, NORAD is the company, North Atlantic Distribution does a great job with us, and they'll have to have additional workers as well to keep pace. And King says the number of additional jobs could be anywhere between 100 to 200 as the port adapts to the influx in shipments. For now, reporting live in Quonset, Jake Holter, 12 News.